Yo, what's up guys? My name is David Bakskorop and welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna play some GGA5 Story Mode Episode 69. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video and turn notification on so you don't miss when I upload a new video or stream and I'm not gonna talk too much in these videos because I really don't know what I have to say to you guys and what I have to say now uh, I will try to upload a new video every single day I'm not promise you guys but I will try my best and what I have to say now uh, Enjoy the video and I will talk to you guys very soon. Have a good day. Well, Michael, I see you're back around and making time for your mental health. Yeah, I don't know why I came. Hmm. What do you want, Michael? I don't know. I just... I just want... I want something that isn't this. You know? This caring about two things at once. I mean, I want to be a good dad. Love my family. You know, live the dream. But at the same time... I really want the other stuff, too. I suppose you haven't really considered the fact that by neglecting your therapy, you've guaranteed these behavioral relapses. No, I hadn't considered that. So, pal, what's the source of conflict this time? Things are kind of on the uptick, Doc. There's no greater concern than optimism. Where are we now? Ah, <laughs> uh, today's getting hard to keep track of who wants to kill me at any given moment. <laughs> Trevor still wants to eat my liver, but we're playing nice because we're working a job together. The FIB, they want me dead uh, because I'm no longer useful to them. The investor guy who hooked me up with the studio, he's pissed off because I didn't burn it down for him. But, the wife and kids are back under the roof. So, maybe things are okay. Mm-hmm. Well, family is important, Michael. But make sure you want them there for the right reasons. Any other acting out, friend? Tell me. Yeah, I mean, I've had good days, Doc, but mostly they've just been really bad days. I've been doing really bad things, you know. Hurting people. You're a very sick man, Michael. I'm doing all I can, but we need more sessions. I want to be good, Doc. I really do. But then I get angry. Hmm. Anything else? Anything sexual? Look, I made a few mistakes, Doc. Pretty bad ones, but in the last few days, it's been a lot better. Well, I suppose you seeing the problems you cause is progress of a sort. So, I feel like there's progress in some areas and, you know, none in others. That's incredible stuff. I don't think I've ever heard such a barrage of denial, self-justification, and outright horror. The thing is, Michael, here, can we just get a quick photo together? Cheese. What is this? I really think I can't treat you anymore. The fact is, I'm in love with you. What the f*** are you talking okay, about, Okay, well, Doc? that's not true. <laughs> Good. You're learning. Good. What's going on? Nothing. It's just... I think you need a new therapist. And I'm leaving town. I've got a TV show. I'm gonna be famous. I'm gonna be famous. <laughs> think of the f*** tale. All those...
Bitches who called me pube head. <laughs> oh, they'll be lining up to suck it now. You got a TV show. You! Uh, best not to think too closely about what I just said. It's not like I'll be using real names or anything. <laughs> I'm really discreet. <laughs> Bye now. My lawyer says you can't prove defamation. Secrets to sell! Hey, I'm a nice person! You gotta tell people that! I poured my heart out to you! And my wallet! Michael, don't act out! You! Head drinker! I hate to do this. It's just an online persona. It was satire or parody or something. I didn't mean it. Jim? You're taking me up Bantam Canyon in this charcoal color land stalker to punish me for trolling you? If only someone would save me. Stall him, kid. I'll be there soon. You know, you, you really are funny and interesting guys. I mean, any attention is uh, good attention, right? Front, okay, there's no reason at all to be suspicious of anyone behind us. And if there was, he would just be there to warn you. He would definitely not kill you. Definitely would not kill you. Shut up, troll. You gave up your right to free speech when you insulted a celebrity on the internet. It was a couple of comments, some colorful language. Uh, it was harassment. You're the comedy writer. Deal with the heckle. I blocked you. You started another account. I blocked you again. You started another. But what you didn't count on is me having the money and the resources to trace your IP. I count on you having so better things to do. To me. Well, I don't. 
I'm a lonely man, and social media is my life. It's given me the recognition I've been denied my whole life. I can make snarky comments and glib pronouncements and lap up the adulation, banishing any form of dissent. I'm a king, and Bleeder is my kingdom. Okay, um, that's pretty sad. Don't lose sleep over it. When I'm done, the only bleeding you'll be doing is actual, like, bleeding, because then you'll be in pain. Me! <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Ah, back in that car. That's my boy's fat head. Who is that animal? That's my dad, you a-hole. Oh, he's gonna f up properly. Oh, really? How big's his herd, huh? The size of your herd don't matter when you're a total badass psycho. Daddy's boy. Read the tattoo, kid. What's it say? Entitled. Because I am. <sighs> Horrible little troll! Dad! Dad! You got my son in there! Give me back my boy! Let me take you home. Thank you. Shit. Do you think? Do you think it's over? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's gone. Are you sure? Cause the dude holds like a grudge, and I'm like his nemesis. I wouldn't go that far. Look, he thought you were a fat little nobody. Now he thinks you're a fat little nobody with a badass for a dad. You'll stay away. But... But I'm like his troll, Pop. <laughs> Call me an idiot, but a troll? Jim? What's a troll? Like a joker on the internet. What sort of jokes? Sort of mean jokes. Like what? Like, someone posts something and you're all like, that sucks, you suck, dick. Oh, so jokes that aren't funny. No, you don't get it. The humor comes with repetition. Like, you say it once, big deal. Then you say it again, and again, and again, and again. Okay. Like, the other day, he posts this picture of his newborn, and I'm all like, damn, son, that right there is one ugly ass m of a baby. And I'm all like, my balls is prettier than that baby. And then I send him a picture of my balls. I seen Roadkill prettier than that baby. What the hell is wrong with your baby? And he's all like, actually, there's a problem with its chromosomes or something, and it's actually a miracle it survived birth. And I'm all like, it's actually a miracle I survived seeing a picture of its... Aw, oh, man! Picture of its e ugly... Enough! All right? E enough, I get it. Maybe that one was a little OTT, but... It's generally really good times. Yeah, good times, great times. The f fun you have. Kinda shaken up, Dad. Could you drive like a sane person? Hey. Hey. Hey there. What's up, babes? You're gonna cause a traffic accident looking like that. All right, the troll could come out of his cage. Screw you. It's sticky back here and it smells funny. Yeah, well, maybe that'll teach you to wind people up on the internet. Now get out of here. Yeah, and that's it, Marfa.
today. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video and turn notification on. And I will talk to you guys very soon. Have a good one.